Um, hi, many teachers have been asking, what are the actions that I use with the newest book, Freddy the Frog and the Flying Jazz Kitten? Uh, these are the ones that I've created and they work great with kids of all ages. I just apply them a little bit differently. So you're welcome to use them if they work for you. Now, if the ages are eight or below, then I have a whole group do each instrument together and we switch together. But if they are eight or above, nine years old and above, I divide the group into four sections. So group one is the drum set, group two is the upright bass, group three is the piano, and group four is the trumpet player. And you can see that, you don't have to remember it, because in the picture inside the book, that's the same grouping from right to left, when you see it in front of you. And here's when we get there, I cue them. But before the book and the story begins, we practice this part. So the drum set players just put up two fingers. The bass player, a boom, 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 boom. And the piano, skilly dilly plunk, skilly dilly plunk. And the trumpet player, the teacher's going to hold up their left hand so that when the kids mirror it, it is correct. So I'm going to do that for the camera here, um, so that if you mirror me, it will be correct. Sweet bop, sweet bop. Sweet bop, sweet bop. Then I cue the kids that whenever I pick up my imaginary trombone, they put down their imaginary instrument and they pick up their trombone. Wah, wah, an echo. Wah, wah. And that's their cue to listen to the next part of the story. And there's one more part that is meant to be interactive in actions, and that's when they come into the city. So before they pick up their instruments, Freddie will be riding in a car, and he hears the city sounds. And we add actions that go like this. Beep, beep, honk, honk, beep, beep, honk, honk, blink, 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 blink. Then I pretend I'm holding a bell. Ding, ding, clang, clang, ding, ding, clang, clang, zip, zap. Zip, zap, tweet, tweet, yow, tweet, tweet, yow. And then you repeat that as they're leaving the city. And it's nice to do the same actions for each time because then the kids will anticipate what they're going to do, be excited, and they'll be right there with you, um, especially the second time that they do the story. And there's one part when the plane goes, takes off from the ground when it's leaving the city. Zoom, which of course, the younger the kids, the more they like it. Older kids, I'd probably leave that one out. The last thing that I do is, especially if I have asked the kids to do a certain part, the trumpet player doesn't get to do their part for very long, and they're probably wishing that they could be the drum set player. So anytime that there is improvised scatting being done by the cats, I have the kids softly play the drum set, the hi-hat, underneath. At the end of the story, when you hear a longer um, few bars of improvised scat, then I have the kids switch through instruments by just simply mirroring me. Then we switch to the bass. A boom, 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 boom. Then we switch to the piano. Scaly dilly plunk, scaly dilly plunk. And then we switch to the trumpet. The sweep up, sweep up. And we get softer. Sweep up, sweep up. Sweet bop, sweet bop. Then we pick up our trombones together. Wah, wah. And then the second time, wah, wah. And the third time, the very ending of the book, is a very slow one. I have the kids wait. I give them the signal to just stop and wait. And when the book is finished, then they pick up theirs. Wah, wah. And that's the end of the story.